Good. Uh, Antonio just told us that you guys as a group offensively did better today than we did last yeah. week scrimmage after the first couple of series. Yeah. What was it that had you guys performing more consistently with not maybe bogging down as much as last week? Well, we just we kind of what shot us in the foot is last last week we kind of started flat and we never really picked it back up. Um, this week, you know, the first and this is kind of on the leaders. We can't let the guys go out there flat, but. Um, so we got to pick it up in that aspect, but we started the first drive was kind of flat and then we kind of picked it up and we started we started rolling because the whole thing is like we just got to quit from shooting ourselves in the foot on like first down or second down because once we start moving the chains in this offense, once you get that first first down and kind of get rolling, that's when the stuff, that's when we start hitting those big yard gains, big plays, that kind of stuff. It's the, get, it's the getting rolling that we still need to kind of work on a little bit, but um, today was definitely a lot better than last week. Um, we were able to move the chains, got in the end zone a couple times. Um, it was definitely a lot cleaner um, offensively than last week. What have some of the issues been in getting rolling and how correctable are those problems? It's, it's, it's all, you, I mean, we'll, we'll have to watch the tape, see what it was today, but I'm sure it's just a little technique thing. Some guy didn't have his eyes in the right place or did something wrong that just kind of, because, you know, offensive football, you got to have 11 guys doing their job to have a productive play. You know, if the 10 guys are doing their job and one guy doesn't and gets beat, then the play can get shot down. So um, it's just making sure everyone's on the same page, starting, um, having good intensity on that first play, you know, kind of setting the tone. Um, and all that's easily correctable. We just got to watch the film today um, in meetings, and we'll correct it and then keep moving forward. How's the battle at, at center between Brian Anderson and Ty Murray going after two scrimmages? It's good. Um, you know, Ty, Ty's a young guy. He's really talented. Um, he's still a freshman, though, so he's still raw. He's got some technique stuff and just some football IQ stuff he needs to tone up. Um, as I mean, as we all do, but, you know, being a freshman, it's a little bit harder coming in. He's starting to play against you know, grown men that have been college football program for a while. And it's just, and he, he's been handling it really well. Um, he's definitely, he definitely looks like somebody that's played center before. So he's, he's comfortable snapping. So that's good because it's not, he doesn't really have to think about it all that much. Um, but, and then BA, um, like I said, I mean, he's been doing great. He's, he's, he's an effort guy. He's going to give it everything he's got. Um, he's really, really been working hard this camp on making sure that, you know, the center's got to be the quarterback of the O-line. You know, he's making sure that he's got fine-tuning all of his football IQ things, you know, reading coverages, uh, ID and mics, different fronts, all that sort of thing. So they're both coming along really well. Um, and they've kind of, you know, been doing it one day one will be one group, the other. Um, just kind of swips off them. Like I said, we've all kind of been moving around trying to see what the best fit is to be going into South Carolina. How, I guess, with these two scrimmages, how much have you guys, the offensive line, kind of gelled together? Like, how's that chemistry going after two scrimmages? Um, it, I mean, it's good. Like I said, I mean, we just, well, once we once we start rolling, we're, I mean, we're rolling. But we just got to, we got to work, and that's kind of, me and Charlie got to step up and kind of get the guys on the same intensity on that first snap. You got to set the tone, because that first snap can, I mean, at least mentally for some people, make or break a game. You know, you come off the ball and you really stroke somebody on the first play. You're like, all right, here we, like, I got this dude. So, you know, it's just kind of that sort of thing. We got to get everybody on the same page, you know, making sure that no, no one's getting thrown any curveballs on the first snap. Everybody knows their assignment and we can just come off the ball and do what we do. How much work are you getting at center still? Kind of on a daily basis or? Anything? Yeah, um, I've been getting a little bit heavier load uh, this week. Um, I was at center all day today. So, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna go wherever they need me. I'm gonna go where, whatever's the best for the team. So if that's if I have to punt, I'm gonna go punt. So, um, but uh, yeah, that might be working. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> back in the day, I might have a little film of me doing that. But um, like I said, I mean, I'm gonna go where they need me. If that's a center, that's a center. Um, I'm able to do all three of the positions on the inside. So, um, you know, if they. Somebody goes down, uh, I can swing over. A young guy can step up in something that we're uh, comfortable with, and I have no problem doing that. Generally speaking, uh, you get when you look back at last week's scrimmage then today. Do you feel pretty good about the progress you guys made as a group? On definitely, offense? definitely. Um, I think last week, um, not as, there was there was a lot more like kind of missed assignment stuff, um, different blitzes, you know, just not picking stuff up, which we kind of shut down today. Um, I mean, we we still gave up a few sacks, which we got to continue to work on, but it definitely wasn't nearly as bad as uh, last week. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, it was just definitely, we definitely, could, from today to last week, we definitely were a week better. Um, I mean, it's just continuing that fight to get better every day. 
um, that's what we got to keep doing moving forward. Thank you. Appreciate no problem.